Hi, everyone. Today, I'm going to share how to make turmeric powder. Making turmeric powder is relatively simple. Without further ado, let's get started. During the filming of this video, I used about 1 kilogram of fresh turmeric roots. First, wash the turmeric roots and remove any surface dirt. If you don't plan to peel them, make sure to clean them thoroughly. If you're concerned about the final turmeric powder might mix with dirt, you can use a scraper to gently remove the skin from the surface of the turmeric roots. After cleaning, you can pat dry the turmeric root surface or let them dry in the sun. Next, slice the turmeric roots into thin pieces, as thin as possible. Alternatively, you can use a shredder for more even slices. Evenly distribute the sliced turmeric roots on a baking sheet, ensuring there's enough space for each slice. Then, place the baking sheet in the oven. I use a low-temperature baking method to protect the color and aroma of the turmeric powder. I set the oven to around 90 degrees Celsius or approximately 194 degrees Fahrenheit and bake for three sessions of 100 minutes each. If your oven has a convection function, remember to turn it on. The baking time may vary depending on the thickness of the turmeric slices and the oven's characteristics. Keep an eye on the turmeric roots to see if they become dry and crispy. Usually, after a total of 300 minutes, that is three sessions of 100 minutes, the turmeric slices will be nearly or completely dried and crispy. You can try pressing or pinching them, if you're not satisfied, you can bake them for another 10 to 20 minutes. If you don't have an oven, you can simply place the turmeric slices in the sun to dry. If you have a dehydrator, follow the instructions provided by the manufacturer for drying the sliced turmeric roots. Once you take the baking sheet out of the oven and ensure the turmeric slices are completely cooled, put them into a grinder or coffee grinder to grind them into powder. I use a meat grinder, but its sealing is not perfect. So I wrap the closure with a slightly damp paper towel to avoid trouble with cleanup. If any of you have used any great brands and find them useful, please recommend them in the comments. Thank you, everyone. If you prefer a finer powder, you can continue grinding. Pour the finely ground turmeric powder into a dry container or a glass jar. Store the turmeric powder in a cool, dry place away from direct sunlight to maintain its freshness and flavor. If the turmeric slices were adequately dried and stored properly, they should be fine without refrigeration. I've tried storing them for two months without refrigeration, and they didn't mold, but their color and aroma were retained. Before the video ends, I'd like to share the benefits of turmeric with all of you. It can reduce inflammation, prevent cardiovascular diseases, improve digestive system conditions, boost energy, aid in recovering from fatigue, help maintain an ideal BMI, improve Alzheimer's disease, act as an antioxidant against free radicals, protect the liver, and have antidepressant effects. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.